I said to you that I'd come back to you and let you know where we are. We are now in Rivergate. What you see beside me is stuff that hasn't yet been fully sorted, uh, which is really incredible. The donations that have come in for residents. There's stuff behind the camera as well, and there's, uh, there's baby stuff here as well. Um, I'm going to take you round just to show you what is going on here on site for the support of residents in Riverside, the people that have been affected, the people that live around the affected area. Um, so this is the start of probably about three or four minutes of telling you what we're still doing as the council. So here we are in the hall at the Rivergate Centre. As you can see, there is uh, support staff, the managing agents are on site uh, with Southern Housing, making sure that the residents uh, are being informed about what's going on with the services that they need. At the same time, we have an absolute deluge of goods that have come in, as I said, that have now been sorted on this side. Um, it's a fantastic response. We're now going to go to an area where there is uh, communications happening, one-to-one -one mentoring as well as counselling with residents. Okay, in this area we can get a nice cup of tea and uh, a biscuit to have a chat, to uh, discuss issues. Residents can come here. We've got the British Red Cross still here who helped obviously in Grenfell two years ago and we have our local health services making sure that people that are suffering from uh, any sort of trauma can get support there as well. We'll have ongoing counselling, as I said previously, uh, happening starting from Monday next week as well, where people can book in. But there is obviously private one-to-one -one conversations going on uh, for people needing that support. We, the council, are supporting agencies on the ground to make sure that people are feeling supported individually, collectively, uh, as residents and that's what we're trying to do. Bellway Homes with BRL and again the other agencies are making sure that they start the works that are needed to repair and to make safe what has happened here. So actually it's about a one minute walk from where the centre is where the support for residents are happening again with council and councillors there supporting our residents and then we've got the builders making sure that if you need to talk to them they can so they can give you an update of where we are or they are more importantly in making good the properties. My name's Penny Pike and I work for um, Barking and Dagenham Council. Um, I've been here since so we've been working together with the community since Sunday and what I'd like to say is that we're really proud to be able to help the community and we will be here in this centre across the whole weekend and next week to serve any needs that um, any any queries that arise and provide hot food for those affected.